In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Calendar and embed it on your Google site. So, we're starting here in Google Calendar. To get here, go to calendar.google.com and make sure you're logged in. Now, the first thing I need to do is create a new calendar for my class. I really don't want to share my personal calendar with all of my students on my website. So, I'm going to create a calendar just for the class that I'm building my website for. To do that, I come over here to the left where it lists my calendars, and I click the down arrow. And I'm going to choose Create New Calendar. I'm going to go ahead and just call this UVU Sample, I can spell Sample Site. And you could put in a description so that people know what kind of calendar this is, what to expect. I could put in a location if I so chose. Um, I do want to double check, make sure I've got the correct time zone on here so that all of my times are correct on my events. And now this is extremely important. Pay attention. You have to click this button that says make this calendar public. That's the only way that people will be able to see what's on your calendar on your website. So you have to make sure that button is clicked. Now another option on here is to share your calendar with people. That's to have um, other people be able to add your calendar to theirs. Um, or even, if you wanted to, you could have somebody else add events to your calendar. So for example, if you were working in a content area or grade level team and you wanted other people to be able to schedule meetings or something like that on one of these calendars, then you could do that. We're going to go ahead and skip that step and create the calendar here. It's reminding me that I'm making it public, and here we go. All right, so there my UVU sample site has shown up in my list of calendars, and I can make events. Now for this assignment, I'm asking you to create a total of eight events on your calendar uh, over the course of four weeks or a month. So um, you can do assignments, you can do topics that you're going to cover in class, you can do, um, you know, com school community events like dances, uh, you know, ball games, things like that. Anything you want, you just need to have eight different events. So I'm going to come in here and say we're talking about Google Tools that day. Now, big important step again. Right here where it says calendar, you've got to make sure that you choose the calendar that we just set up, your class calendar. If you don't do that, it's not going to show up when we put it on your website. So really make sure that you do those two things. Make the calendar public and choose the correct calendar when you're making your events. And then I click Create. Now this is not technically a Google Calendar tutorial, so that's all I'm going to show you for now. Uh, if you need more help, Go to YouTube, find yourself a good Google Calendar uh, tutorial to show you how to you know, make events recurring, uh, change the times, all of that good stuff. But you're going to go on. If you need to pause the video now, you can. Make more events. You've got to have a total of eight over the course of four weeks. Now that I've got my calendar established, I've got my events on there, I'm going to come over here to Google Sites, open up my site, and just like we did previously, I'm going to make a new page. The name of this one is going to be Calendar or Class Calendar. Now, I am super anal about you spelling calendar correctly, so do it, please. All right, we're going to use the standard web page template. We're going to keep it at the top level, and we'll say Create. At this point, it really couldn't get any easier. Because we're using Google and all of the tools are integrated together, I go to Insert and I choose calendar. Insert calendar. It will actually give me a list of the calendars that I have. I choose the one I want to show up and click select. It's going to ask me for some dimensions. You can kind of constrain it if you want to or you can leave it wide open, whatever you'd like to do. You can add multiple calendars right here, display another calendar, so you could do that which view you want to show, whether it's a week or a month, which time zone, that's going to be important. Uh, I usually choose Mountain Standard Denver because I know they're always on the same time zone and I click Save and then I click Save. Ta-da!